In the last video, we discussed governor, his rules, power, and articles related to it. Today, we will solve some questions that were asked in UPSC IS prelims. These questions are repeated in other exams also, so you must solve these questions. And if you want to solve previous year question from 1979 to 2021, I have made a compilation. Link will be in the description and in the comment section pinned. You can buy from there. First question: No money bill can be introduced in the Legislative Assembly without the recommendations of the Speaker, Governor, Chief Minister, Finance Minister. Answer here is Governor. Just like the President, Governor gives his recommendation for a money bill. Then only it can be introduced in the Legislative Assembly. Next, Article One Fifty Six of the Constitution of India provides that a Governor shall hold office for a term of five years from the date on which he enters upon his office. Which of the following can be deduced from this? This is a confusing question. Options are: No governor can be removed from office till completion of his term. But you have seen that many governors have been removed before the completion of their term. No governor can continue in office beyond five years. This is also not true. Some governors do get extension in their terms. So here, answer will be neither one nor two. Let me know your answer in the comment section. What should be the answer? When the Chief Justice of a High Court acts in an administrative capacity, he is subject to options are the writ jurisdiction of any other judges of the High Court, special control exercised by the Chief Justice of India, discretionary powers of the Governor of the State, special powers provided to the Chief Minister. Answer will be A. The writ jurisdiction of any other judges of the High Court. When a High Court Chief Justice acts in an administrative capacity, a writ jurisdiction can be brought against him in the High Court. As per Indian protocol, who among the following ranks highest in the order of precedence? Deputy Prime Minister, former President, Governor of a state within his state, Speaker of the Lok Sabha. Answer is C. Governor of a state within his state. Which one of the following statements is correct? In India, the same person cannot be appointed as Governor for two or more states at the same time. It is not true. In India, one Governor do serve two states. Sometimes the judges of the High Court of the states in India are appointed by the Governor of the state, just as the judges of the Supreme Court are appointed by the President. No, no procedure has been laid down in the Constitution of India for the removal of a Governor from his/her post. This is true. In the case of a Union territory having a legislative setup, the Chief Minister is appointed by the Lieutenant Governor on the basis of majority support. This is not correct because the Section 45 in the Government of Union Territories Act 1963. states that the chief minister must be appointed by the president rest of the ministers are appointed by the president on the advice of the chief minister so the answer will be c there is no procedure laid down in the constitution for the removal of a governor from his her post next consider the following statements the legislative council of a state in india can be larger in size than half of the legislative assembly of that particular state not true the governor of a state nominates the chairman of the legislative council of that particular state This is also not true. Chairman of Legislative Council is elected, so answer will be D. Next, consider the following statements: No criminal proceedings shall be instituted against the governor of a state in any court during his term of office. True, according to Article three sixty one, these are some privileges enjoyed by the governor president. No criminal proceedings whatsoever shall be instituted or continued against the president or the governor of a state in any court. During his term of office, under Article three sixty one. Next, the emoluments and allowances of the governor of a state shall not be diminished during his term of office. So this is also correct under Article one fifty eight. Answer is both one and two. Whenever you solve these types of question, also refer to the articles related to these statements. Next, with reference to the legislative assembly of a state in India, consider the following statements. The governor makes a customary address to the members of the house at the commencement of the first session of the year. True, when a state legislature does not have a rule on a particular matter, it follows the Lok Sabha rule on that matter. Under Article two hundred eight, the state assembly makes the rules subject to the provisions of the constitution for its procedure and conduct of its business. Under Article two hundred eight, clause two, if no such rule exists, then they follow the same rules that existed before the commencement of the constitution. and under article 208 clause 3 in a state having a legislative council the governor after consultation with the speaker of the legislative assembly and the chairman of the legislative council makes rule with respect to the communication between the two houses so it is not clear that a state legislature follows the rules of lok sabha when no such rule exists for that particular matter 
what should be the answer according to you post that in the comment section so these were the questions that were asked on governor anything which is in news you must solve questions on that topic for more such videos subscribe to my channel and for the compilation check the description and the pinned comment see you in the next video thanks for watching have a nice day